everyone. This is Hannah Rubenstall. Welcome to my video. I'm really excited today to be bringing you a card that I am designing for Cat Scrappiness. It's going to be a Halloween card. I know we're getting close to Halloween cards, but I had the most brilliant idea for a shaker card, and I love me some shaker cards. I think it's really... Um, I love the construction of them, and I have like a bajillion ideas for things to stick in shaker cards. So I'm going to come to you today with something totally bizarre and weird. I'm going to start with using this Gerder Steiner Designs um, Peek and Pumpkin Kitty. She's so super stinking cute, this little kitty inside a little um, pumpkin. You can give it a little jack-o'-lantern face if you like. It has the sentiments, thankful, happy, and Halloween. So I'm going to be using this. And additionally, I'm going to be using these two sets of Cat Scrappiness dies. I'm going to be using um, these postage, stitched postage dies and also the never-ending rectangle dies. And you're going to see why I'm using both of these really, really soon because I have like a wicked idea to show you. Um, I use these um, never-ending rectangle dies all the time. They're seriously the best value for your dollar that you can get if you're investing in a workhorse die set because these are super fabulous. If rectangles aren't your thing, they have, she has squares, circles, and ovals. Um, I have them all. I tend to use these more frequently because I don't know how to work a, a um, I don't know how to work an oval in my card. It's just I have to get over that. But she's got a variety of different shapes. Now, with that said, I am going to shush my mouth and I am just going to fast forward the whole process. You'll get to watch it all as I create this card. And I hope I inspire you today.
There was some problems with the video. The video that I made when I realized that I had messed up my card, um, the, the file was corrupted or something like that. So you didn't get to see how I fixed my card. Uh, where it was left off was I realized I had taped it down to my card base. Um, my, I realized I had taped my panel to my card face upside down. The sentiment that is right here was right here and it would have opened really funky like so I could have remade the card but I had already spent a great deal of time on this I chose not to go that route what I did was right along in here right between the base behind this panel hello gunk behind that panel I trimmed that out using my super sharp scissors um, I trimmed this piece off right behind here I made another one of these um, gradiated um, patterns using my distress inks this little guy hadn't gotten taped on yet so then I took my card base I cut a new card base I cut out a hole on the inside I did not put acetate between here and here there was already acetate on the back that was gonna get stuck on I applied this on then this whole thing was a huge chunk. It was super easy to take care of because there was acetate in that panel on the back side. I could just stick it down in a way that worked really well. And then I finished it off by using some Ranger multi matte medium to stick my kitty on both sides. So I totally goofed it up. The card is slightly thicker than it needs to be, but it is such a thick card to begin with that nobody's going to notice that a skinny little, thin little piece of Nina Solar cardstock of 110 pounds stuck in there that doesn't make a huge difference when you take into account all of the layers of fun foam and everything that are on it. And yeah, it took me five minutes to fix the card, but that's nothing compared to the hour or so that it took me to make the card from scratch. So I saved myself a whole bunch of time and nobody is even going to notice that. So I apologize that my video didn't work. I have no idea what happened um, to prevent you from seeing how I fixed it, but I could talk you through it and it was pretty easy. All right, I hope I have inspired you. Uh, I hope you have a great day. You go out and be creative and have fun with a little candy corn and a shaker card. I have a bunch more shaker cards to bring to you in the future. I hope you don't get sick of them. All right, I'm Hannah Rubenstall. I'm the crafter at Fanciful Spaces and I am blogging for Cat Scrappiness today. I hope you head over to the Cat Scrappiness page, pick up the supplies you need and you can easily case this card. All right, have a good day. Bye.